Tears of the Kingdom just released. And in my playtime so far, I found some things out I wish I would have been told. So let's get right into it. I will keep all the information to the starting area, so if you completed the tutorial, there shouldn't be any spoilers for you. When you use the Ascend or Rewind ability, time will freeze, giving you some time to think. There are snow trousers located at a good humbug shrine. You probably want to claim them, as they will increase your cold resistance. The orbs you gain from the shrines are used for upgrades. With 4, you can increase your life or stamina. When you're falling down and you enter the zoom mode, the game gets put into slow motion, so you can take your time looking around. You activate the zoom mode by pressing the right stick in. You want to mark every shrine you see, so you can visit them later. You will eventually see a blue glowing rabbit. They will guard you towards caves. You can also shoot them to gain some rupees. When entering a cave, you will gain a marker on your map. Each cave has a specific enemy inside. If you kill it, the cave will get marked as completed. When you see NPCs, a red exclamation mark shows you that a side quest is available. You should speak with every NPC you see anyways, they have useful information for you. You can parry enemy attacks with a well-timed A press. You can also jump away in the right moment to activate a flurry rush. This lets you attack the enemy in slow motion for a big amount of damage. If you played the previous game, you probably noticed that the different kind of arrows are gone. They now need to be fused. For example, you can use a bomb plant to make a bomb arrow. It also works with bright bloom seeds to create some light. Your minimap shows the height level you select in the main map, so make sure you select the right one. Cooking food is always better than eating it raw. Roasting will boost the healing by 50% and cooking will double it. If you come across a device dispenser, it's best to use 5 sonar charges for the best game per item. <laughs> if you're gliding and you run out of stamina, you can open the glider one last time for a short period. Open it a bit above the ground to avoid fall damage. You can sneak up on enemies to deal a large amount of damage. Press the left stick in to sneak. When you're cooking something, do not mix different effects. Food can only have one effect, so if you mix multiple, you will lose them. Your map markers only stay on the level they are placed on. Once you come across a chicken, make sure to beat it. There's a low chance for it to drop a diamond. Always keep a weapon with a stone attack with you for breaking rocks. Don't be ashamed if an enemy is too hard to defeat. Just run away, you can always come back later. Cooked recipes can be seen when opening the food pouch and then pressing X. 
And the most important tip, stay curious. Explore the world. If you see something that catches your interest, check it out. The game is great. Subscribe to stay tuned for more and see you next time.